guys, welcome back. Here are 10 cozy games with free demos you can try right now. In no particular order, number 10, Dungeons of Hinderburg. This one really surprised me, guys. This game looks like a literal living comic book. Armed with a sword and a tourist guide, explore the beautiful alpine village of Hinterburg and uncover the magic within its dungeons. Master magic, solve puzzles, slay monsters, all this and more await you in Hinterburg. You'll play as Louisa, a burnt out law trainee, taking a break from her fast paced corporate life to conquer the dungeons of Hinterburg. There are plenty of dungeons to find and adventures to be had. Will Louisa be sent packing on her first day or remain to become the master slayer? The traversal in this game feels pretty awesome. It kind of reminds me of like Sunset Overdrive, though with a lot less freedom, I will admit. Sunset Overdrive is so underrated. That might need its own video at some point. Anyway, the combat feels really good here. I don't believe the stakes are very high in terms of combat, which is why I feel this game belongs here on this cozy list, even given that action combat. The puzzles are engaging and they can be challenging, and the social life sim aspect is definitely intriguing. Spend your nights forging friendships with the locals and other adventurers. Some of them will help you get stronger and teach you new tricks, and others are just here for excitement and selfies. But good relationships don't just make your stay more memorable, they're the key to becoming a better slayer. This game definitely has a cozy atmosphere and a ton of charm, and I think it's definitely worth checking out, especially since its release date is just days away on July 18th of 2024. Number nine, Midnight Crimes. Next on the list, we have the Midnight Crimes. This one also really surprised me. If you liked Wolf Among Us, but you also like an old school feel, this one's for you. It's a point-and-click detective adventure game where you play as a retired private detective investigating the case of a missing child while facing his own past demons. Midnight Cove, the wicked Victorian city you live in, features semi-open world mechanics, side quests, pets, character relationships, and much more. Choices do seem to matter here, and the game is fully voice acted and seems really well done. While I can see fixed camera angles and point and click mechanics being a turn off for some, this one really caught my attention and I can't wait to check it out when it fully releases. The release date on this one is to be announced. Number eight, Blueprints. Sticking with the detective mystery puzzle theme, this game is a mystery puzzle adventure with once again, a really cool art style and kind of the feel of an old school board game. Although it's not quite like anything I've ever played, but in a good way. You will navigate through shifting corridors and ever-changing chambers in the Mount Holly Mansion. You'll choose each room as you enter a new door and try to reach room 46. Every step counts and strategy really matters. The puzzles really make you think, and I do love a good puzzle game. This one is interesting even though it's a bit hard to explain. I really enjoyed my time with this one a lot more than I thought I would. It doesn't have a release date yet, unfortunately, but I'm definitely looking forward to playing it when it does release. If you like a good mystery puzzle game that can keep you on your toes with a cozy, gloomy type of vibe, check out Blueprints. Number seven, Wax Heads. To lighten things up on the next one, we have Wax Heads, a cozy punk slice of life narrative sim about managing a struggling record store. Chat to quirky customers with unique tastes, explore a handcrafted record collection, fall in love with the band and their drama, or just slack off with your colleagues, all to restore the groove. This seems like a really cool little game, and while the demo does offer a very simple, quick look at it, it's definitely something I can see myself enjoying. The style is different, refreshing, and I'm definitely looking forward to this one. I love management type games, just to relax and kick back, and this one really seems like one I could get behind. No release date yet, but it's definitely worth checking out the demo. Seems like a cool game. Number six, Cabernet. Next on the list, we have a vampire game. Anyone who knows me knows I'm always here for a good vampire game. This one is called Cabernet, and Cabernet is a 2D narrative RPG set in a 19th century Eastern European inspired world with a modern twist. Guide Liza, a young vampire struggling with her mortality 
and the supernatural world she's been pulled into. Beware the taste of Cabernet is not for the faint of heart. Prepare to explore themes of social conflict, alcoholism, corruption, and more. Choices matter here and the story does seem well constructed. It is fully voice acted and has a unique art style. Also, you can turn into a bat, which is pretty cool. I like what I've seen with this one so far. It does plan to release sometime in 2024, but the release date is still to be announced. Number five. So a vampire walks into a bar. Keeping on the vampire theme, this is a visual novel where the choices you make as a new bartender affect the way you're treated by your patrons. Be warned, some of your decisions have disastrous consequences. Frankie's Lair is an eclectic bar with a steady group of regulars, who are even more eccentric. These patrons have stories to tell if you can handle their special needs. You play as a college student desperate for a job after an unfortunate accident at the previous one. With the minimal amount of job training, it's up to you to make sure the customers are satisfied and there are no mishaps. The game features a digitally drawn 2D art style and original character design, mixology mini game, and fully fleshed out characters with interesting backstories and varied tastes. If you like games like Coffee Talk, you might like this one as well. I like a good visual novel where choices matter. This one is also to be announced, but I'm gonna keep my eye on it for sure. Number four, Tavern Talk. Speaking of coffee talk, if elves, fairies, and fantasy creatures are more your thing, Tavern Talk might be more your speed. It's a cozy visual novel about running a tavern in a D&D inspired fantasy world. Gather rumors, serve magical drinks, and meet adventurers on life-changing quests. It's definitely a visual novel experience more than anything else, so if that's not your thing, maybe skip this one. Same with the previous, but the art style is clean and nice to look at. There seems to be a bit more to this one than the previous entry, and you can actually pick this one up right now for $17.99 on Steam. And it's 10% off if you can catch it during the summer sale, which is now until July 4th. This game does seem like a well done visual novel experience. So if that's your thing, maybe check it out. Like I said, you like Coffee Talk, you're probably gonna like this one too. Number three on the list is Tiny Bookshop. You leave everything behind and open a tiny bookshop by the sea in this cozy narrative management game. Stock your tiny bookshop with different books and items, set up shop in scenic locations, and run your cozy secondhand bookshop while getting to know the locals. This demo was kind of short, but I am someone that loves to read and adores physical books, along with just the atmosphere of a bookstore or a library. While this is the tiniest bookshop I have ever seen, I'm here for the cozy relaxing vibes and I'm definitely going to keep my eye on this one. It does seem like a cute game and its release date is still to be announced. Number two is like unpacking tiny home edition or camper van edition I should say. This one is called camper van make it home. If you liked unpacking, you're probably going to like this too. It combines elements of blog organization, puzzle games, and interior design while you discover step by step what led your protagonist to embark on this journey. Again, the release date here is to be announced, but definitely check this one out if you're looking for your next unpacking type game. It's definitely cozy. And number one, Rika. So I love anything fantasy and magic related, really. Anytime there's a new game that lets you play as a witch, I'm usually here for it. This one is called Rika, and I was actually really impressed from what I played in the demo. Channel your inner witch, build your cozy chicken-legged hut, Practice witchcraft and forage for ingredients in the autumnal woodlands. Solve quests and uncover the great mysteries of the legendary witch Baba Jaga. This game does have a character customization, not creation, and it is limited. But I do love the style of this game. The lighting looks gorgeous, the way it interacts with the characters and the environments. The animations are really well done. While the demo was a bit slow, I am glad that I stuck with it because I have a feeling this one is going to surprise us a lot and I'm totally here for it. Magic, crafting, building, a walking house, I'm excited. It plans to release in August of 2024 and I will most likely be talking more about it when it does. Okay, this next one is silly, that's why it doesn't really have a number. This is a bonus one. It's called Doggy Don't Care. You play as a pug trying to wreak havoc while your poor owner is away at work. As a proud owner of a part pug, this is my adorable dog, Harley. She's part pug, part pit. She's adorable. Anyway, I really got a chuckle out of this silly little game and had to include it here because I felt like Harley would be proud. The thing with the toilet paper? Yeah, Harley's done that when she was little. Anyway, this is a silly, funny 
funny little game. The release date on it is still to be announced. And that's all I got for you today, guys. I know that was a bit of an interesting mix, so let me know your thoughts in the comments. Any cool demos I missed that are worth checking out, let me know. Have you checked out any of these games? Any that you plan to? Anyway, let me know in the comments. For more games you might not have heard of, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell to be notified about new videos. I'm a really small channel and it really helps me out and I really do appreciate all the recent support. This channel is growing slowly but surely and I'm excited to talk games with all of you. Thanks so much and I will see you in the next one.